City residents are feeling frustrations with the growing number of water line breaks, leaving homes with little to no water for several days. Fox 2's Mallory Thomas is live in Dogtown tonight with a look at one of those breaks that has a residential road shut down. Mallory. Hey, Mandy. Well, people who live around this water main break behind me say they are lucky because they have not seen an impact on their water pressure yet. But people who live just a couple of streets over say they're not so lucky. Frozen streets are thawing out, but those streets are filling up from broken water mains. The water pressure has been real low, like couldn't take showers. We had to go buy some water from Quick Trip so we could drink some water. And then a couple of days ago, the pipes were frozen, so no water was coming out at all. Toilet wouldn't flush. Brennan Javier says a few days ago he noticed a break along his street. Way down there, there was a pipe break, I guess, and there was a bunch of trucks with flashing lights this morning, so I didn't go over there and look at it, but I assume it's pretty bad. The city says crews are working every day, 12 hour shifts around the clock. It's a tough job to do in the weather and we'll um, we appreciate their patience and understanding, but also appreciate the very inconvenience of not having water in their home when they need it. Kurt Scobie is the city's director of public utilities and says in the last two weeks they've seen more than 60 water main breaks. Most years when you have real cold weather like this, we'll get a increase in water main breaks and we are scrambling to um, to address them all. Brennan hopes the crews working in his neighborhood will have the pressure restored soon. Water pressure is still real low in there. We still got to still going off the jugs that we got a couple of days ago. Um, toilet's still not flushing, but more water than a couple of days ago. And the city says typically they try to give notice whenever they're going to be lowering the water pressure or cutting the water off completely to customers. But they say because they are just going to break after break after break, they just have not had time to give notice. And they're asking again for patience. Reporting live, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.